What's up guys and welcome back to the Landship Scorpius. I will be your host. I'm Lieutenant Nathaniel Flint of the Landship Scorpius and today we're playing the Iron Harvest Beta. I am so excited. I also have a nice new camera to uh, watch me play uh, games for the gaming side of things. Now we kind of went away from the gaming side of things um, on the channel, but I have been super excited to play Iron Harvest for a while. It's uh, steampunk slash diesel punky. It's right up my style. I absolutely love it. I also have uh, a new mic. So I just picked these things up and I can finally, uh, I have a new computer. I can play the beta. It's amazing. So today we're going to start off uh, by not showing how terrible I am in multiplayer. I played a few games uh, with my friend and proven that I am the worst. But uh, what we are going to do is uh, jump right in to the brand new campaign. Uh, I'm going to start at the, the overview here. And we're going to play through uh, the first level of the campaign in this video. And then I'm going to keep playing through. I haven't finished the whole campaign that they have available uh, for the beta. It's only the first few missions of the Polanya campaign. But I do want to uh, play as much as they have. So let's jump right in. Uh, let's get started before I ramble too much. So we're gonna start off at Anna's shot. This is the first level of the game. Super excited. So if you guys uh, gave to the Kickstarter, or if you have bought it after the Kickstarter, they gave. Uh, it was a huge window to get involved with the betas uh, for this game and with the alphas. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? I see a little bit of the screen rippling. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. Wait, I don't know if you can see that. So I love how they do the tutorial. I'm going to say that from the beginning. I absolutely love this tutorial. Some of the voice acting is a little, uh, a little cringy, uh, but uh, An Anna's, Anya's, uh, her voice actor is absolutely fantastic. And here we are in the game. So we start off as Anna here, as a little girl, and she's learning to fight. So you got to defeat the boys, one out of five up here, instead of running away. Ooh, can I run that way? No. So we're gonna head off in this direction. So this is teaching you to move, select the unit, you move around. What they've added to the uh, the beta is a lot of stuff to, uh, that visually just looks great. So things like moving through the snow and making little tracks. Isn't that amazing? Can I hit the snowman? Oh my God, that's hilarious. We're just going to take that snowman Over out. There? You don't need that snowman. Can I move this way? No, we're going to go this way. That's fine. On my way. We're going to hit this snowman too. We're going to do some practicing. So this is how they're going to show us who the enemies are. And then little Anna is going to come up. So we're going to start Ow, attacking him. Only thing that I have noticed with this, You're I'll wait for the end. Take cover. Run away, run away. Hey, he's not even playing. <laughs> Fine. Uh, one down, four to go. Pizza face, totally got you. Anybody can sneak up from behind. On my way. I wonder if there's a secret for knocking down all of these snowmen. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something. You know what? Let's get all the snowmen in this playthrough. At this point, I, I am a little late to the game. Um, I'm not one of the first people to come through and play this tutorial mission. So... Um, we're going to take some cover here. So 
I think this is trying to teach us how to move units and how to work outnumbered. That's going to help at the other um, levels of the campaign. It's kind of dealing with how to how to deal with forces when you're outnumbered. So I think you're supposed to flank him here and take him out. Look at those animations. I absolutely love this. So he is retreating. We're going to come over here and get these two. On my way. And what's going on? This will protect me. This way. There we go. I'm sure that wasn't intended. Where's some other snowmen? Ooh. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that is just absolutely a oh. That is a nice winter winterscape there. Ooh, I really like how that looks. Oh, that was really good. All right, we're going to move here and get this kid. Snow only, no ice. I said that a lot as a kid. Attack! Taking cover. Getting cover and then attack. Fire away. The cowards attack. Are they coming up here? I don't like that. Oh, we missed one over here. Don't worry, we'll get him. You're gonna cry, little girl. I should take cover. That's rude. Stinking rude. So I really like these animations. I really like how this came out. I think this is a very clever way to do a tutorial. Um, for the most part, I don't think there's a way I can lose this unless I, I really just don't attack anyone. I run through here getting hit all the time. Um, I think I'm gonna come up over here. I'm gonna go after this kid. We flanked him. Oh, where's he going? Oh no! <laughs> when you unintentionally go forward with the story. The kills the next You're the Look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like how they did that. Hey, you were dead! <laughs> Uh, what it's like to be a kid. You we used to play war me. all the time as kids. Um, I gotta come back here and get this guy before we go go on. We'll make sure we'll get all these guys before too long. Yeah, if I was hiding a secret, I would definitely do something where you had to find all the snowmen and make take them all out in the in the level. So I feel bad because I always disorient. I get so disoriented when you're able to do this in RTS games. Some people think it helps with the planning and everything. I'm just terrible. Click the end to reset the camera. So I was playing with my friend um, online and uh, we thought that uh, we were already orient like the end was north and we it would spin and we were upset it didn't spin. We didn't realize when you hit this, it will now be north. Yeah, we're in trouble now. We should take cover, but how are we going to get this little bratty kid? Oh, we're getting taken out. We're getting taken out. So, yeah, I've been waiting for this game for a while. Um, I was glad to finally get a computer where I could play. I did play a little bit of the uh, alpha. 
but I just wasn't any good at it. I missed all the times that they were like open. Um. I'm not doing a very good job at all with this kid running around. Well, that's rude. All right. We got these two kids up here. I'm going to come up here and hide. Can you not do that? Okay. That's okay. So we'll try to take them all out. So yeah, I wasn't able to play too much. So this is this is super exciting for me. I was basically useless in the alpha. Now I get to play and test. I've already uh, found some things that I like, some things I don't, some things I just need to get good, I guess. Um, but when I played online a few times, uh, the AI is still just absolutely kicking my butt. Easy doesn't seem to be too easy. So, just getting my butt kicked. But I'm liking the campaign. The campaign seems fair so far. Um, I'm really enjoying these cutscenes. I think that's really nice. <laughs> Being saved by the older brother. They cheated. I would have won. Hmm. It looked like they had you pretty much pinned down. Come on. Let's go back to the village. Papa will be waiting. Or you could finally teach me to shoot. You did promise. I said when You don't promise things like that for this reason. <laughs> hmm. And how else will I defend myself in the war? When the war breaks out, you'll keep your head down. I'll take care of you. And what if you're not around? Uncle S says everybody in Polania must learn to defend themselves. I'll always be there for you. Well, the boys did have me pinned down back there. And oh, yeah. It hadn't been snowballed, but... Oh, Anna. All, all right. these promises, he's right. going to die. I know, I know. Don't tell Papa. First rule of a war movie, don't talk about home. Don't show your pictures of your loved ones. And don't ever promise people that you'll always be there for them. <laughs> All right. I really like this next section. Let's be very quiet and try to find something. Uh huh. All right then. Take the lead, General. New primary objective received. Right. So I really enjoy again how your visuals help your gameplay. I can just w see the deer tracks coming up this way. That's a really good way to keep us. From these other areas of the map, I'm getting lost. Oh, there we are. Yes. Let's do this. Gotta be quiet. Here goes. Nope. What? I was quiet. Deer are prey animals, so they are very attentive. We need a new strategy, General. <laughs> Soon, I'll hide in some bushes so they can't see me. And you'll drive them in my direction. Mm. Good plan. Just make sure you shoot the deer and not me. Hmm? Let's see if I do this a little better. I had a really hard time with this when I Can't when I played. See? Very well. All Let's right. Find some deer. The deer went off this way. We're gonna try to get him to come back this way. Fine. I'm ready. I need to use point attack. Attack a specific target. Order. There it is. Let's get it into shooting range. What's next? Hold still. I thought you wanted to hide in the bushes. Quiet now. Hmm. Here goes. 
Okay. Don't know what the difference between attack move and point attack is. Good hiding spot, but that was a terrible shot. I think something's wrong with this rifle. Look, when you pull the trigger, you can't wander. Oh, it's the scripted. Way. That's you makes way more sense. Know. Shoot it out, eh? You see how it moves. You feel when the time is right, and then, pow! Venison for dinner. I understand. Mm. I think. All right, let's try this again. And again, I just have to follow it, running right up here. Makes me feel like there's a secret up there. There it is. So we're gonna come up here. Oh, doesn't that just look the best? Some trails. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there we go. Precision shot. I think so too. Boom. Very nice. I, I hit it. Clean shot, butterfly. Papa will never believe me. Oh. I know anything about it. I shot the deer, remember? My fiance oh. did not enjoy this and part of the game. <laughs> Your best so far. Choker. Ugh, this is disgusting. That's part of it. We don't kill for fun. Mm. Yannick, do you, do you really think there will be war? Sure. And this time, it's going to be a big one. Saxony, Ruzviet, the Nordic Kingdoms, maybe even Ooh. the Shogun. I like those name world. drops from those other Ooh, factions. I really like it. To this dump? Why would they? Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs! Shoot, how? There we go. Wonder if I could lose that. That'd be embarrassing. <laughs> oh, nice. I like how the big attack robots still use bolt action weapons. But it's really nice. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Must have been hungry. Hey, Arthur. Take the beast. It will make a warm coat for Siberia. You're going to war? To Ruzvit? Aye. Defending the motherland against Ruzvit aggressors. Wow. Nice. Pretty impressive, huh? This is all top work. Whoever did that. They want to oh. This is all coming together so nicely. Come on. The village can't be far. You're looking for Zaleshe. I'm from there. I can take you there. Well, then hop on up. Go Head straight back, all right? And don't forget the road. That's, that's just... I love it. Love the animations. I'm loving the look so far. I love attack robots. Love it, love it, love it. And that's it. That's what we have currently. We have... Um, that first mission that we did. We got all our primary objectives. All right, everyone. I think that's a great place to stop this tutorial level. It's supposed to be a nice quick video. So we'll stop it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited about this game. If you have the beta, please do your part and give feedback. That is what a beta is for. Uh, just like the alpha before this, play it. Give them your feedback, how you think it feels, especially if you're noticing any bugs or anything like that. Um, if you like this video, please let me know what you're liking most about this beta for Iron Harvest down below in the comments. Uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I've been really excited and I've always intended to do Iron Harvest videos uh, when, when it came out in the alpha. Again, just never had a computer that worked. When I got a computer that worked, I didn't have any way to record it uh, reliably. So now I have what feels like all the pieces to this puzzle and I'm just enjoying it so much. I'm so excited to continue on um, with uh, 
Iron Harvest. So if you like this video, please leave a like and let me know to do more of these in the future. I'm still working on like some World History videos as well as some other uh, more generalized steampunk content, but I do want to cover more of Iron Harvest. Uh, I paid a lot to get the full Kickstarter, so I will be doing an unboxing when that comes in. Um, and I just really want to support this game. Um, really excited for it. Um, I really want to play a lot more of this beta and uh, get more videos like this out. So for now, I'm going to call this good on this video so I can quickly get this um, edited and out as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see the next uh, one, I'll do the campaign and then maybe I'll do some ones of me sucking at multiplayer. Um, but if you want to see another video, uh, please let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.